Hey people, hi everyone, what is popping? Welcome back to here from Sibyl. I want to talk about the reason most Africans come here and they don't have jobs. The reason you see most Africans they come here and they don't have jobs, it's not because there are no jobs in the UAE or there are no jobs in Dubai. There are jobs in the UAE, there are so many jobs in the UAE. The only reason you see Africans being here they don't have jobs is because our fellow Africans are selling jobs. Yeah, commission fee has frustrated uncountable Africans in the UAE. Commission fee, that is what is frustrating Africans. They come here and they go back without working. Some come here, they are unable to pay the commission fee. They are having overstay and all of those things. Commission fee is killing us in UAE. It is killing Africans. It is only Africans paying this commission fee here. It is killing us Africans. Someone will be in the office and the, the manager might be like, okay, I need workers. Can you bring people to work for me? Let's say it's a housekeeping job and they're paying like 1,200 or 1,500. Someone will come and ask for commission for 1,000 dirhams. 1,000 dirhams for a salary of 1,200. That is what is happening. And you see, us Africans are just going backward and backward and backward every day. Because if he comes and tells you to pay 1500 and you don't have that 1500 he will not give you the job. If you say, I have only 500 please can you help me? And he will say, no, I cannot give you the job. These things are happening and they are selling jobs here. I had one lady, she just came. I no. She, the lady she had gone for visa changed like two times. So she finally came back and she had the security job. The salary was 2200 The guy who had the job said, okay, my commission fee is 2000 The lady said, please, I just came back from visa change and I have 2000 The company is asking for 2000 because some companies you have to pay for your, you pay for part of your visa charge. You don't pay all, you pay part of the visa charge. So the lady said, I have 2000 to give to the company to start processing my visa, please let me go and start this job let the company process my visa i will pay you when i have my salary the guy said no i cannot give you my job the lady said you have my passport when i have the salary i can pay you the guy refused and the next day a nepali lady came and she started working the one thing they fail to understand that the manager who has that job or the owner of the company who wants workers will not wait for you, everybody to pay for the commission fee before you bring them. No, he's going to employ people from other places. And that is why we are facing so much difficulties because of selfishness. I can say it's selfishness. Yeah, because you think only of your own self. You don't even think that, oh, someone, I have suffered like this before. Let me help this other person. No. You just want them to pay you the money and if they cannot afford it, that is it. It is okay for you to help somebody and that person pays you money or gives you something. Or you just help that person. No, it is not the case with us. It is selling jobs and people being frustrated every day. Another thing was one lady and her cousin. That lady had a housekeeping job. She had a housekeeping job and her cousin was not working. The cousin said, okay, since you have this housekeeping job, you can secure me one place there and I'll pay you the commission. You know, I do not come with money. And the lady said, no, I cannot give you this housekeeping job. My friend said I should look for people. So he's asking for 600. The housekeeping was 1000 dirhams and the lady's commission was 600. She said, no, if you don't pay me the 600, I cannot give you this job. So you see how things are happening here. Other nationalities, they don't face these difficulties that Africans are facing in Dubai. No, they don't face these difficulties. I have, I have looked around and all I can see is Africans. Either they are having overstay or they are not having jobs. They are just going around, going for visa change here and there because they will come back from visa change and there is a job opportunity. For us to just say, that, okay, you can start work even if you pay me or you don't pay me. That is it. The thing is, if you don't have money in Dubai, you will not have a job because of too much commission. A job is 3,000, you're asking for 2,500 dirhams for commission. That is how they are frustrating Africans. In the We are not doing anything to change it. People used to tell me, like my uncle told me that like 15 years back, Dubai was not difficult the way it is now because 
Africans has they have changed it into something that I cannot understand. Some will go set up an office. This is how much our fellow brothers and sisters are frustrating others here. They will go set up an office somewhere and employ like a Pakistani and take like a Pakistani or an Indian and put in that office. And they will collect money from people and say they are hiring, which they are not hiring. They just want to collect the money and the next day the office is closed. They will have like so many people coming there. And they know that people are desperate to have jobs. Not other nationalities, Africans, obviously. They'll come there and pay money, 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 and the next day their office is closed. They'll go set up another office somewhere. Or someone will come and say, give me money. That person is trying to get a job. And you see that they are frustrated. They are really worried. They want to. They are in need of a job, and you take the money from there and say, there is this job. That's why I always tell people, don't rely on commission. Don't give money to people. Come here, do your CVs and put them online. Go outside, look for your job. Because if you want to rely on commission thing, trust me, people will eat your money in this Dubai, not somebody from another place, just your own brother and sister. When you come and you're spreading your money, that is how they're going to eat the money. They set up offices. And if you give somebody money for commission, the next day you ask for the money, you will not find it. Why? Because they spend the money the way it came in. If you give someone money for commission, the next day just go back to that person and say, I don't like this job. I want my money back. You don't have that money. Because they spend the money the way it came in. That is how it's happening. Someone will meet you on the way and say, oh, I have this job, I'm hiring, do you have people? You just come and bam, you're selling the job. And if people cannot prevent it, the honest truth is, if you don't give that job to people to do it, you want them to buy it. If they don't buy it, you will not go and work the 10 or 15 people's jobs. No. It will be there and they will employ other people. That is why other nationalities are growing. Africans are not growing. You sit and complain that the president of my country is spoiling my country. The ministers are spoiling my country. You in your own little part. What have you done to change the situation? You have not done anything. You are just like them. Or you are that person in the office, that big person in the office that is hiring and is only giving jobs to the rich. That is it. You are same like them. Because if you cannot help people at this at your own little level, if you are in that office, that is the same thing you will do. You will sell the job. Because you are not changing and we keep complaining that the, the world is not changing. Things are not getting better. You see your own brother, he or she is frustrated and you have the means to help them. No, you cannot help them. You want them to buy, you want them to give you money before you help them. I think, I've, I think Dubai would be so much easier for Africans if this commission thing is not there. Because someone paid the flight and they have, they have flight money, they have visa money and they get here. They have money for transport, they will get jobs. That is why there are jobs every day, it's just that Africans are selling them. And people are being frustrated, some will enter overstay, some will become Kaliwale. I think if this commission thing in UAE is reduced and our fellow Africans are really considering the fact that we can help others have better lives here. It will be so much easier for all of us. It will be so much easier. When you come here, I always tell people, be focused and go out and look for jobs. Because if you want to rely on commission, don't rely on commission. They will frustrate you here. Make sure you have the strength to come here and go outside and look for jobs. Because people who have stayed here, not even somebody from another place, they'll come take money from your hand. So be careful who you give money to. Some come and reach here, they'll tell you that they don't have jobs and go back. That is true. They don't have jobs because people who are in position of having jobs have taken the jobs and they are selling the jobs. If you don't have money to buy the job, you don't have the job. And you have to go back home. That is the thing. But if you come here and you have the means to go outside. Go outside. When you just come, go outside, look for your job. Go to offices, put your, your, your CVs. It's better for a company to hire you and ask you to pay visa charge than your own fellow brother and sister taking 2,000, 3,000 for commission. It's a lot of money. It's a lot. Let us try to consider those who are starting and make Dubai easy for everyone. Don't forget to comment. Give me a thumbs up and share this information. It is very important that people should know these things that are happening so that they can be aware of what is ahead of them. Share the information, please. Don't forget to share the information.
please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching Mwah.